Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a pick a deck reading for you. This is the first time I'm doing it. I've been doing live readings on social media for a while. So let's see kind of what comes up. So you'll be able to see the three decks. You have the beautiful Lotus. You have one that is an owl deck and the Hunab Ku deck. So whichever one you would like to draw, you can close your eyes and just feel whatever you feel connected to most. And you can tune in to your deck. This is gonna be kind of like a general reading for the remaining month of April and just some information that you might need to know as you step into the next path of the month. And I'm just gonna give a little preamble. I don't feel like I'm a regular type of tarot reader or anything. <laughs> so take what you will with this. And obviously not everything resonates with everyone. So deck one, we've got your cards laid out. You have the lovers card first, those beautiful lovers, that energy of possibility with connection, not only with another person, but really within yourself, the masculine and feminine energies of creation. And then we have the Prince of Discs in reverse. So I'm just gonna show you that, a very strong earthy energy and then we have the beautiful fortune card. And I'm really getting the sense with this, um, this pull that there's something that you're really trying to integrate for yourself right now. And you might feel really ungrounded, um, which is okay. This is kind of a reminder, like that's okay to feel a sense of like, what is actually happening here. Uh, and the last two cards that have come up, one with the chakra deck, this one expansion which is a blue throat chakra card and blame uh, from oh what deck is a soul journey call cards it says blame i accept responsibility for my well-being so really i get this sense that there is something maybe that's gone on potentially with like a relationship with someone else maybe the opposite sex or someone that represents like the opposite energy of feminine masculine so if it's like you're a man, you can be kind of more feminine and deal with a woman even who's masculine or with another man who is masculine or whatever the case might be. Um, and it's like kind of like trying to allow yourself to see what ended and be gentle with yourself around that energy and to see that there is a potential for you to grow within all of that. And really, it's not worth you blaming yourself, especially now if you're feeling super of that like ungrounded energy or just feeling kind of uncertain with yourself, you know, like that's normal. It's a part of the process. See if you can tap into the expansion of this energy. What really is like trying to be told to you or shared to you around what you are experiencing? And you have these guides, you have Mother Earth, you've got like great spirit, you've got all these beings who are there to support you right now. How much are you willing to trust and go with that process? And really, I get the sense that like all of those uncertainties, all those ungrounded feelings are going to start to shift for you. You're going to start to see more of that abundance and that excitement in your life, like this wheel of fortune, the ups and downs of life. Everything is always flowing. How much of that will you allow? And even when we think about the blue and the throat chakra, it is very much about just constantly allowing the like flow of life to move through you. Like our words can flow, our hands and our arms, everything can just flow. We can be led to maybe do or create things, to save things and just really trust. And this might be a time for you over the next couple of weeks to really just repeat this mantra on this card. I accept responsibility for my well-being. You ultimately are the one that can choose what you are responsible for, and you are ultimately the one who is responsible for your well being. All the good feelings, and maybe sometimes the not so good feelings that happen, you have more control than you might like to think. And it's about really shifting from the victim mode into that power empowered place. So, deck one, that's your reading. I, uh, let us know in the comments if that's the deck you chose and if this resonates or not. And I will catch you in the next video. Deck two, we've got your cards here. This is the owl deck, so let's see what you have. 
So first we have the Six of Wands, the Victory card. Oh, oh, oh. victorious, victorious. <laughs> and then we have the Eight of Swords, which is interference. So that's definitely an interesting experience there. And then finally, we have the Princess of Cups. So these are your tarot cards with this uh, pull, deck two. And then we have Success and gratitude as our chakra and our soul journey cards uh, the chakra card being the gratitude which is i believe a, a violet energy and the success card it says i know that there is no greater goal than to love hmm yeah like interesting there's a lot of purple with this there's something like opening here i get the sense too with you know kind of like Things maybe had been looking really like up for you over the last little bit. It's like, some, you know, like sometimes like we're like going for it. Or we've got like everything in check. We feel like we're on top of the world. And then there was something that came through. And I really am getting the sense that it's like more your um, belief systems and thoughts, like these final pieces that are trying to like come up and really be looked at really be healed right now in the next like couple weeks it's going to even be more intense potentially for you and this ultimately is about you like really gaining that knowing and that trust about who you be and about how powerful you are with the ability to manage your thoughts to shift your belief systems and begin to create that like reality that you really feel called to create and so don't let this like interference, you know, I'm keep thinking like the like it is like football, right? American football. And they're like, I don't really watch that. Like, but interference, like, isn't that from there? Maybe, maybe not. But that's what I'm seeing. It's like a game. <laughs> and life is kind of like a game. Let's be honest, right? It's like constantly these like ups and downs, and we never really know sometimes what the fuck is going on. But don't let those interferences from yourself or from others to interfere with your potential and the things that you're hoping to achieve. Once you're getting this like energy, the princess of cups and emotions under a bit more control, like look at her, she's so like nurturing. I don't know, there's something about it. Sorry, the lovely camera there, but just so nurturing that energy, all these beings, these animals just like surrounding her, the plants, like so beautiful you're going to be able to enter into this place of that success and a simple way to do this is through gratitude how are you giving thanks each and every day something i would suggest and this is actually something i've been doing the last little bit like um i i would write gratitudes in my journal morning or night or both depending and also when i'm driving i'll like go like okay what am i thankful for it's a good habit i like to get my daughter into it as well but another thing is like, okay, what were those like things you want to celebrate? And I got this from another YouTuber. I'll see if I can link. Oh, totally forgetting the name. Um, but she has a suggestion. You can even go and like download her journal uh, template of how you can start to like celebrate certain things and then what you'd like to achieve the next day. And I've been doing that at night for the last couple of weeks and it's been pretty good. Like it really does help focus the intention. So you can use that stepping into the gratitude, connecting to all that is you and you know, you were going to be successful. You can state here. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So there you have it. Deck two. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next video. Deck three. Okay. We've got your cards here. You are the Hunabku rock deck. So let us get into that. Okay, I just want to say deck three. <laughs> There's something very powerful about this one. Like something very like magical, powerful. We've got a lot of yellows here, oranges. First off, though, Seven of Cups, debauch. Is that how I say that? That doesn't look very nice, does it? This has probably not been the most fanciest time for you. Even I feel like it's been like a while. Okay, um, don't let that, don't let that get to you. And I, I get the sense that you don't. Like for some reason, I'm really feeling these are probably people much like myself, Scorpio. People who maybe like really seeing things in the potential they are, the chaos, right? 
And even in that, and like the ugly, yucky stuff of it all, there is some like potential, like major potential. You have the Magus card and you have the Hierophant. Hierophant, yes. So I'm trying to make sure you can see it. And like, look at those. Like to me, these are beings who have balanced and they have achieved the like alchemy potential within themselves. And I really get the sense that this is something you've been like striving towards, but now it's even coming up more so. You are really starting to believe that, hey, this is like something that you are and you have worked your like butt off to get through all that like debauching energy, that like not so great energy. And now you are stepping into more of that like power, the ability. And then we have these cards here. Um, with the Soul Journey card and the Chakra card, the Miracle, which I don't even think I've ever seen this card. That is a, oh, let me see if I can get it to show for you. That's a yellow uh, solar plexus card, so very much about the power. There are things that are changing, transforming for you, and that's just confirmed with this card of change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. <sighs> I mean, really, you know, if we think about a plant, like it's in that dark, dark place in the earth for how long? I found out today, actually, apple seeds, it takes like one to two weeks to germinate. That's, didn't, that's not as long as I thought it would take. <laughs> but if you think about it, like that huge tree, it probably takes a huge process anyways after that to like really grow. And so know that like there's part of you that is evolving and it has been evolving for maybe quite a while. It's been maybe intimidating for you, but like in this next couple weeks, there's gonna be some real shifts. Like as we're stepping into next season of like this beautiful spring, summer, and the, the like sun shining again, like lots of yellows, lots of oranges, just this bright sort of energy, like your personal power coming up, really showing up. You are going to be this being who's like, I just wanna show this one. The inner child is incorporated the divine feminine, the divine masculine, these energies here, using all of like animal medicines, all these different energies together in this beautiful method that works for you and to create like <laughs> whatever that might need to be for you that you're trying to achieve right now. Like, just look at that guy. He's got like the happiest face. <laughs> so there you have it, deck three. Continue to believe that you are the miracle. The miracle is happening for you. You've created it. And you can repeat this mantra. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And be that movement as you go through the rest of this month of April. <sighs> so thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you remember to subscribe. And feel free to share this video with anyone you think might enjoy watching it or might need a little bit of guidance and let me know if you enjoyed this video as well if you think i should be like doing some more of these readings if it's something that you would enjoy i will definitely consider it and i enjoy reading them so anyways you all have a lovely lovely day and i will talk with you soon bye